I will create a program that will display a menu of arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Then the user would choose among these operations what he prefers to apply to the given two numbers. Let's open a new empty file and save the file as menu of arithmetic operations dot c make it a practice to write comments of your program we include the preprocessor standard input and output header and every c program has a main function First is to display the menu of arithmetic operations. We will use the printf function. The escape sequence backslash n is used for new line. And this is where we will write the different operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We will give the user an option to choose among the given options. Then we will accept the input of the user. This is an integer since the options are either 1, 2, 3, or 4. We will store it in variable op for operation. Let's declare variable op with a data type of integer. So we have the arithmetic operations, then choosing among the given operations. Then enter the operation you prefer to use for two input numbers. We can make it user-friendly by giving examples of what can be typed in. Because the user might type addition instead of 1. But since we are the programmer, we know that we are referring to the numerical value since we will store this in a variable with a data type of integer. We could change our statement to make it more specific. Instead, enter the operation, enter the menu number of the operation you prefer to use for the two input numbers. So we have here, enter the menu number of the operation you prefer to use for the two input numbers. But we do not have yet an input for the two numbers. We can accept it right after this. Or we could immediately ask the two input numbers prior to choosing which, which operation the user prefers. Let me check the spelling of addition there. After getting the preferred operation, let us now accept the two numbers. We store it to variable n1. We declare n1 and n2. We have here three variables with a data type of integer. The first one is op. This is intended for the choice of the user whether we will add, subtract, multiply, or divide the two numbers. Then n1 and n2 are variables that is used to accept and store the two numbers. This is incorrect. It should not be percent but ampersand since we are referring to the address. After we enter the choice that we have, we will be asked to enter the numbers in which we will apply the operations chosen. But there is no output yet since we do not have yet our expression. 
we will be having four expressions here, either n1 plus n2, n1 minus n2, n1 times n2, or n1 divided by n2, depending on the menu number chosen by the user. Therefore, it is not a sequential kind of program. We cannot apply all the four expressions within the program. Therefore, we have to choose. It will depend upon the value of the op. Meaning, we will use conditional statements. We do not use the first type of conditional statement, which is if, because there will only be one output in that kind of statement. And we have four possible outputs that is either to add, to subtract, or to multiply. Meaning, we also cannot use if else, since it will only have two outputs. So therefore, we opt to use the third one, which is the if-else-if if statement. In this type of conditional statement, we could have more than two condition and can have more than two possible results. The general form for the if-else-if if is the if keyword followed by the open and close parenthesis. This is where you will type your condition. And the condition is if op is equal to 1, then we have the sum of n1 plus n2. Else, if op is equal to 2, we have difference from n1 minus and 2. Else, if the value of op is 3, we'll display the product n1 times n2. Else, if op is equal to 4, we display the quotient. Else, if it's not equal to 1, if it's not equal to 2, 3, or 4, we could say that you have chosen an incorrect option. I choose 1, and my first number is 5, second number is 9. I should have a sum of 14. I choose 2, my first number is 100, my second number is 50. I should have a difference of 50, correct? I choose 3, multiplication, first number is 5, second number is 5, I should have a product of 25, correct again. And finally, division, if I choose 50 and 2, the quotient is a whole number, but if our number is 10 and 3, second number, it should be 3.333. But we have here a whole number of 3. That is because our data type is integer. So the solution for this is to declare n1 and n2 variables of type float. We declare n1 and n2 of type float, meaning instead of percent %d, we change this to percent %f. And since we are adding two variables of type float, the result is also a float. Same is true with the rest for the subtraction, multiplication, and division. But this will result to an answer with six decimal places. For example, I choose 1 again, 19 and 3. There we have 22.000000. Solution is to limit the decimal places. So for some difference and product, there should be no decimal places. So we write here 0 0.0. But for quotient, we write here 0.2f. The sum is okay. Let's check the division. 10 and 3. Now we have 3.33. If we enter a number that is not among the choices, let's try 5. I still will enter the two numbers. It says you have chosen an incorrect option. That is because none of the given condition resulted to true. It's all false, 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 false. Thus, the compiler will execute the statement right after the else. Another solution is by using the switch conditional statement. So instead of the if-else 
keywords I will have here switch then inside the open and close parenthesis is where we will write the variable that we will be switching to to determine whether it is equal to the possible cases take note that the open and close curly braces would be from the beginning up to the end of the possible statements to be executed so the first possible case of op is one and if it is equal to one we print the sum then break another possible case of op is two then semicolon we display the difference then break another is if op is equal to three we do multiplication and if op is equal to four we display the quotient if none of the given cases is equal to op it will proceed to the statement under default we choose addition we have eight and nine sum is 17 we choose two difference is 20 we choose 3 product is 14 we divide 106 it will be rounded off depending on the number of decimal places that we have defined under the format specifier so that ends the program that will show a menu of arithmetic operations and accept two numbers and apply the chosen operation we have used two different solutions for this program. The if, else if, and the switch conditional statements. Thank you for watching.